Die lachen bijna al. Nee, niet lang. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Stephanie Maeri Mando, and for today's video, I mag me make up tayo. Ako. I'm gonna be recreating my wedding makeup look. So, sorry, medyo kinahabahan ako kasi hindi talaga ako marunong mag makeup. Or I'm not really a professional makeup artist, or I don't have all the proper skills to do my own makeup. But yeah, it's been a year since our wedding. Tapos, syempre, pandemic, hindi na tayo masyado nakapag-makeup. Kaya, medyo na-miss ko ng konti mag-makeup. So, that's why I'm doing this as a content for today. But anyway, yeah. So, quick story lang. Um, I decided to um, do my own makeup kasi first, pandemic. Second, mahal makeup artist. And then, um, third would be Naisip ko na yung panggastos ko for um, pambayad sa makeup artist, ano na lang, i-invest ko na lang siya sa pagbili ng sarili kong makeup. And it was really risky to do your own makeup, but um, Gerald and I's um, wedding was a very small one, very intimate wedding. So there's there wasn't a lot of pressure that day, so I think I was able to do it, but um, I wouldn't recommend it if you are having a very big wedding kasi of course sino naman ang gusto may kasala may stress ka pa kung ikaw pang gagawa ng makeup mo so i don't think i would recommend doing your own makeup on your wedding day unless you really want to do it of course kanya-kanya naman tayo eh so kinasal kami during summer time syempre mainit tapos um ang goal ko that day or ang goal ko para sa makeup ko would be not go for a matte look or a matte makeup because I already have a uh, dry skin tapos magma matte pa ako, right? So, I've watched um, makeup tutorials sa YouTube and then, um, lagi kong pinapanood is si Albert Kurniawan. Siya yung makeup artist ni Heart Evangelista. Uh, uh, Pinafollow ko na talaga siya even before. So, sobra ako na-inspire sa mga ginagawa niyang wedding makeup look. Gusto ko yung talaga yung mukha mo mas magi Yung gusto, yung gusto ko talaga sa mukha ko is maging, or it would look like hydrated, plump, ganyan. Ganun ang goal. But, we'll see if makakaya ko yung ano. I don't know if I achieved that goal, but um, yeah, I've learned some basics from Mr. Albert Kurniawan. So, if you're watching this, well, feeling. So, if you're watching this, Mr. Albert, thank you so much for making those YouTube tutorials. I've learned a lot, or not maybe a lot, but the basic ones that we really need to uh, think when it comes to makeup. And then second would be um, Miss Andrea Ali. I don't know how you pronounce her name. But um, sa kanya ko talaga kinuha yung inspiration ko when it comes to doing your own makeup on your wedding day. So ang um, first step ko would be, of course, I have dry skin. And I really love applying Vaseline on my lips. Para mahydrate siya kahit pa pano. And then I also apply eye essence sa eye bags ko. So you can see, obviously, malaki ang eye bags ang ate nyo. So ayan. Then I've already applied moisturizer sa face ko. And then um, the first step na ginawa ko would be to prime my skin. And then the primer that I used is the baby skin instant pore eraser. So, ang dami kong nakikitang um, YouTube videos na ito yung ginagamit nila. So, and it's very affordable. Magkano lang ata to? I think it's less than $10 sa drugstore. So, I grabbed one for my, for me. Ang dami akong visible pore. So, ang structure na dito kasi is um, smooth onto areas with visible pores. So, usually yung visible pores ko naman ay nandito sa ilong. So take note, hindi po ako makeup artist and um, please, kung may gagayahin man kayo dito sa video na to, is hindi ko sinasabi na yun ang tama. But ito lang talaga yung nag-work sa akin that day. Next step that I did was um, putting on a foundation. Okay, so ang hirap para sa akin humanap ng perfect or like the right um, shade. Um, kasi pandemic noon and then hindi allowed ang testers. So, ang, ang peg noon is pupunta ako sa Sephora tapos bibili ako ng foundation na 
uh, tingin ko magmamatch sa skin tone ko. And then, pag uwi ko, I would try it like one or two times. Tapos, it's either sobrang like um, pute or sobrang itim naman sa, sa skin ko. So, nagsagal talaga akong makahanap ng um, proper shade for my skin tone. Then, maybe it took me like three trips to Sephora to finally get um, the best best shade for my face. Ang trick na natutunan ko kay Mr. Albert Kurniawan, if you want to achieve that um, hydrated look is or sheer look would be you mix um, a facial oil to your foundation. Okay, sobrang puripot ko. Hindi na ako bumili ng stuff na nalagay dito to dispense the foundation. So, I mix drops should be fine <clears throat> and now you're ready to apply it on your face along ng part part jan dapat pa blend mo agad to ayan so using a blending sponge I think sa kanya ko rin natutunan na pag nagbe-blend ka, ano lang, huwag masyadong firm. Ayan. Let's see. Here. Ah, nakalimutan kong sabihin. So, I ended up buying two foundation shades. One, um, isang lighter than my skin tone and then isang darker than my skin tone. Kasi summer nun eh. Kasi pag winter, naglalighten yung skin mo. And then, pag summer, <laughs> talagang magiging morena. Mure, morena talaga. Kunin natin yun dahil every drop of foundation counts. Okay, a foundation. Ayan. Tama ba yung nalagay ko ano? Yes. So, I ended up getting the gold list. Medium 3.2. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's a uh, Miss Messine Sheer Glow. So, I didn't get um, a, what do you call this? A matte foundation. It's a bright sa video, pero hindi. Siguro yung ring light to kaya sobrang parang ang puti sa mukha ko. But, pagtiting ko dito sa, what do you call this? Sa mirror. Tamang-tama lang siya sa skin tone ko. Ayan. So, di ba Ang laki ng difference if you don't um, use matte finish sa face mo. Kasi, on your wedding day, you just want to look, you know, glowy, hydrated, na parang wala kang naramdamang stress during your preparation. So, I have my foundation in place. It looks like, ano, it's maputi siya sa skin tone ko. But I think that's the ring light. Actually, hindi to makeup tutorial ah. Ano lang to. I'm just trying to recreate my wedding makeup look. And don't forget the neck. Because you want to match your neck sa face mo. Para hindi lumulutang yung yung amo. Yun yung natututunan ko from before naririnig ko na dapat basic na yun. Ears, of course. Ears. So, natutunan ko na naman kay Albert Kurniawa na pag maglalagay ng concealer, you just wanna start from here. Because you don't wanna overwhelm the under eye. Meron talaga akong dark circles, so... Ayan, isa yan sa mga imperfections na talagang in-embrace ko na, guys. Because there's nothing wrong with embracing your imperfections. Because actually, your imperfections are the things that make you unique. Namin kasi sabi. Alam, puti ko! Siyempre, you wanna set 
yung mga liquids na nilagay mo sa face mo. So, most of the people use the ano ba to? Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is what I usually see sa mga YouTube tutorials. Bought the small one because hindi naman ako lagi ng makeup. So I use concealer to prime my eyes para mas madumikit ang eyeshadow natin. Dito ako mostly nag-struggle sa pag eyeshadow because it's I don't know how to blend colors. So um, watching Andrea Ali's um, YouTube um, video or YouTube tutorial about applying eyeshadows, medyo nakakuha naman ako ng mga basic. Even Albert Kanyaman, those two people, talagang nag-focus ako sa kanila. And then I learned some tricks. I'm not saying that I learned everything from them sa paglagay kasi may mga bagay na talagang mistake ang ginagawa ko. Okay, so the next thing is the eyebrows. So, thank God, I'm blessed with full eyebrows. So, what I do to maintain them would be I just go to Brow Diva. So, sabi nila, suklay-suklay mo pa taas. Hindi ko sa YouTube. So, when it comes to eyebrows, um, medyo tricky din to kasi you, want, you don't want to overfill your eyebrows. So, ang natutunan ko in doing the eyebrows would be if you want to fill the inner part, use a lighter shade. And then, from middle to the end, you use the darker shade. Inner. Nakaka-pressure to, guys. <laughs> o, tignan nyo. Sobrang pigmented, so... Hindi ko na siya masyadong nalagyan kasi medyo... Na, full na yung eyebrows ko. Don't want to overdo it. I can still remember those hashtags. Kila is life. Did I do? Oh my god, parang hindi sila pantay. Maging katawa katawa yung ano ko, ah, blog ko. And tapos, it blend. Siya. Blend ko siya like this. Para hindi naman mukhang nag-apply ka lang, diba? <laughs> then yung darker shade naman. Parang may nangyari ba? Ayan. Medyo okay siya. Ang dami talagang natututunan sa YouTube. And sobrang saya pag ina-apply mo na siya. Tapos nakikita mo yung ano, effective, effective siya. <laughs> Hala! Parang pangit! Oh my god! Okay lang ba? Parang di ako sanay. Maglagay tayo ng brow gel para magstay yung eyebrows mo into play. Um, clear brow gel. Hindi na ako kumuha ng colored or may color kasi syempre, ano na eh, full na eyebrows ko. Ayoko na siya maging super duper dark. Okay, so after the eyebrows, mas comfortable ako unahin yung eyebrows kasi sabi ko nga, iba-iba tayo ng steps. Iba-iba tayo ng ways. So, mas comfortable ako unahin yung eyebrows bago yung eyeshadow. Ito na ang pinakahihintay. Eyeshadows, guys. Very tricky mag-apply ng eyeshadow. For me! Ang hirap. I don't know. But, sabi ko nga, always follow the basics. And then, ang natutunan ko would be to contour first your eyelids or your eyes. So, using a neutral shade. Ako, hindi ko na maalala kung ano yung ginamit kong shades or palette. But, oh, I can remember. I used this I used this Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Top Eyeshadows. Sobrang ganda niya, guys. Nakakainis. Hindi ko siya masyadong nagagamit. Iko-contour ko muna yung eyes ko. So, using a neutral or a base. Lilito na ako. Anyway, magpadakarak lang. Hindi ko na maalala ko ano talaga. But anyway, tingnan natin kung paano kong ginawa yung eyeshadow ko. Kung maalala ko pa. Picture niya. Hindi 
ko na malala ko anong details yan, but using this shade right here. I'm gonna use that. It's my base shade. I forgot to mention, isang goal ko din would be yung soft glam lang na look, wedding look. Oh, I've learned na pag nag-apply ka ng eyeshadow, <laughs> parang wala nangyayari. Use like a light circular stroke. Hindi ko rin sure kung tama tong brush na ginagamit ko. <laughs> anyway, whatever works. Palang pa natin konti para mas makaitan. So next naman is um isa sabi nila na um you might want to apply the darker shade on the outer canvas of your eye. So I'm gonna do that using this darker shade here. struggle ko mag-blend, guys. Ba't medyo nagkaka-result na ang ating maglagay na eyeshadow? <laughs> oh my God! Parang pangit. Ikaw lang pa sa blend. Blend pa natin. Sabi nga nila, ang secret would be blend lang. Maging patient lang sa pag-blend. So that's my eyeshadow so far yung shimmer sa eyes mo. Hindi dapat, hindi pwedeng mawala yan sa eyes mo. So, gagamitin ko na lang din yung dito sa palette na to. I'm gonna use my pinky finger. So, for this one, yeah, hindi ko alam kung nahalata niyo yung shimmer, but maganda yung pagka-shimmer niya. Pero para sa akin, parang medyo kulang pa siya. Meron pa akong isang eyeshadow palette from Soft... Ah, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. Tapos, sobrang fan ako ng mga shimmers nila kasi sobrang pigmented. And then, maglalagay pa ako dito sa inner cantus para mas mag-pop yung mata natin. And I almost forgot about this part of the eyes sa lower eyelid. Dapat maglagay ka rin ng something dyan para mas ma-define yung mata mo. Kung hindi na ako gumagamit ng eyeliner kasi sobrang itim na ng eyes ko. Ayaw ko nang paitimin pa. So, minimix ko lang yung dalawang uh, shade dito. So, after the eye, gusto ko nang i-blend yung mga powder na in-apply ko kanina. Ayan. Highlighter here. This is the contour palette I used. So, I want to use this shade here. Ito hindi ko alam gawin ang mag-contour. Contour ba siya? Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung na-contour siya. Actually, sobrang strong ito. Isang favorite is yung Hula Benefit. Ang ganda din na ito. So, Okay, so, um, so now it will be the blush on. So I use this MAC. Again, this is um, from Andrea Ali's YouTube video. 
I use the, um, the Melba Matte finish. I also want to apply it over my nose. Here. And for lashes, since I have my eyelash extensions, syempre hindi na magkakabit ng false eyelashes. Anyway, I use this um, eyelashes from Lily Lashes in light mink. I chose the most natural lash that I could find. Kasi ayoko yung sobrang laki ng eyelashes. Kung gusto mo pa rin yung natural look. To finish up this look, lagay na tayo ng lipstick. So, I got this from MAC as well. Uh, this is kind of sexy matte lipstick for that pala. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Is the lip liner. So that's it you guys. I just turned on my ring light again. Para medyo mas makita nyo yung mga shimmers and stuff like that. But anyway, this is the final look. Um, hindi talaga ganito yung itsura nung bending makeup ko. But I just tried to do it again because I miss putting on makeup. And I'm not gonna do my hair because um, one of my good friends, Sam, did my hair that day. So thank you, Sam, for doing my hair on a very special day. And shout out to you. Sobrang baby. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, thank you guys.